I'm Cher Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Pat Williams, the Managing Director for Revolver Resources. Pat, it's a pleasure to have you on once again. How are you? Thank you, Shay. I'm doing actually really well today. That is great. And today we are going to have a conversation about one of my favourite jurisdictions in Australia, and that is the Mount Isa Copper Belt. Uh, now, we've talked a little bit about your uh, both of your projects out this region just recently, but I wouldn't mind sort of delving a little deeper into the Osprey project. Now, it is located in the Mount Isa Copper Belt. Not everybody's familiar with it. Can you give me a little bit of the overview of the region and its history? Yeah, look, Shay, happy to. Um, uh, Mount Isa is a, is a globally renowned you know, mineral jurisdiction, base metals particularly, pioneered by the Mount Isa operations themselves. So it just made perfect sense. It's the right postcode. When you're looking for a project, you know, go to the best postcode, and, and we did. Um, back, as we said before, 10 years ago, copper wasn't sexy. People weren't getting into it. So we kind of had a bit of a free run, and we did look very systematically, you know, north, south, east and west, what's there, um, and we came across the Osprey project, which has kind of pretty remarkable lineage. Um, it, it was at one point in time the premium exploration ground for the WMC um, exploration group. So, so it, it was certainly highly ranked. Um, corporate changes happened, things moved on. Um, there's a body of work done, and it was identified as hosting another potential Mount Isa style d- uh, deposit. So, so we, we gladly, we farmed in, judiciously started work um, and, and we've built a body of knowledge now over 10 years that, that continues on from that good work that was done uh, back by the majors at the time. Uh, we've continued on and, and we've gathered a host of information, um, drill data, um, geophysics, um, you know, both ground and, and aerial. Uh, so a comprehensive data package over a very large landmass. We've got 860 square kilometres of continuous oh. acreage. So um, it's difficult country, Shay, because as uh, we're north of Mount Isa, about 100 kilometres as the crow flies, um, the rock packages disappear underground. So we've got cover. So we're dealing with, you know, unconsolidated cover, you know, across the project. The rocks don't stick out of the ground. Surface geology is difficult. So we've got to use modern science and modern technology. Uh, we'll come back to that uh, rock package and how you're assessing the ground in just a moment. Uh, first and foremost, I wouldn't mind knowing where you are at with the Osprey project. What stage of exploration have you reached? Look, we are at, at advanced exploration stage, Shay. We, we've conducted you know, numerous drill programs, um, over you know 2015 onwards, um, we have several sniffs of copper. We are in you know the halo of copper systems. We've got the ground alteration, um, and, and not just from drill results, but from you know the regional structural geology. Um, we, we've got to be located in the right place where depositions occur. So we're we're at at the ready stage to be going out to do that all body discovery drilling. Uh, listen, Pat, I normally say geos are my favourite people to talk to, but when I've got a mining engineer in front of me saying words like sniffs of copper, you might be rapidly becoming my favourite person to talk to. But getting this interview back on track, uh, you know, we, you touched on before about using modern technology to look for rocks undercover. So what are the next steps? How is Revolver Resources going to progress this slightly difficult terrain to explore? So, look, we've amassed uh, an awful lot of technical data. Um, and, and logically, with the technology and, and the very good people at Myra Geosciences, they've embraced the machine learning, the AI sophistication to, to bring together to, to do the computational, you know, you know crunching of, of the physical um, and, and the, the structural information. And it's identified um, a, a number of areas, more than 16 high priority targets in the prospectivity. Uh, index that are likely to host a Man Isa style uh, deposit. So, so we've we've had the data collection, the data analysis, the computation, the the target identification. It's kind of ready to go drill. Uh, that sounds terribly exciting. When you start getting a look at the rocks underground, please do come back on and let me know. Listen, Pat, thank you so much for being here today. It's been great. 
Kyllä, Jenny, se ei lähde hän.